I wanted to give you a quick update on what I've been doing since the last video. And most of it has been uh, at the tail section of the airplane, where I've made the horizontal stabilizer and the vertical stabilizer. There was nothing particularly special about these constructions. I still need to finish off some of the shaping on the horizontal stabilizer, but all in all, it's been a pretty straightforward build. The vertical stabilizer sits into the horizontal stabilizer, and both of them then get mounted onto the rear of the airplane. I've also made the rudder and shaped it, as you can see. And then the next thing I need to do is to hinge it onto the back of the vertical stabilizer. Now I'll show you in another video how to do the hinging. And I tend to cut the slots for the hinging first before I do any of the covering of the airplane itself. Also in order to finish the fuselage construction, underneath required sheeting. So I've put 1 16 inch sheeting on. And I've also put in uh, a quarter inch sheet as well at the front, right under the battery bay. This hole you see underneath here is actually the cooling slot for the battery. In where the battery sits, uh, I've actually built a, a little house for the battery uh, with a little piece of foam in front of it, which will hold it in place. I'll just show you how that works. Battery slots in there and sits neatly in place. I've also put in the fuselage, the, sorry, the engine mount, and I mounted the engine onto it. The engine mount itself had to have a three degree offset to the right, which was a little difficult to do, but I've measured it from the plans and I've also worked out through trigonometry that the distance from the front face here to the front face of the engine mount was three millimeters. So I've actually drawn a line that's three millimeters in from that edge and then I've mounted the engine mount onto it using five minute epoxy and clamped it all in place until it's set and I've then mounted the engine on top. What I've also been doing is purchasing all of the electronic items that I'm going to need in order to get this plane off the ground. So first things first, there's the engine which is a Turnagy D2822, it's a brushless outrunner. The battery, which I'll take out, is a Turnagy uh, 1500 mAh LiPo battery. It has three cells in it, so it's 3S. And I've also bought myself uh, an ESC. This is an electronic speed controller. This essentially will control the speed of the engine once it's all hooked up. It's a 30 amp ESC. And this is the receiver, which I've simply snatched from my other airplane. But it's small, light, and will do the job. I've also bought myself a couple of uh, micro servos, servos as well, which I will then mount in to this area of the fuselage. So I'm going to connect all these up and walk you through exactly what's happening. Okay, so I have everything set up and powered up. I have the engine connected to one end of the ESC through these three connectors. And I have the ESC tucked right in beside the battery housing. The ESC is powered by the battery through this yellow connector. And the ESC is then plugged into the receiver into what is for me channel 3, which is the throttle channel for the receiver. So what I've done, I've powered on my transmitter, made this yellow connection which powered the battery, the ESC and the motor. So now everything is live and ready to go and I can see that the light is on on my receiver as well to show that it's powered and receiving signal. So all I need to do now is throttle up. And that is how the electric motor is powered and run and connected in to the fuselage. My next stage is to try and build a housing around the front of the engine itself, finish off a lot of the 
fuselage windowing here with acetate and then start the covering process. So I will see you in the next video.